Lancaster County, Pennsylvania is known for its amazing Pennsylvania Dutch style food and it is spread across the county in many different forms and many different restaurants. Hershey Farm is a great example of this fair and I'm here to tell you all about it in this review of the restaurant and the property. So if you're new to this channel, you probably thought nothing of what you just saw, but if you're returning and you're part of our Lancaster community, first of all, join if you're not, hit the subscribe button. Secondly, stay tuned to the end. I have some fun things to tell you about. So we can actually see the first of the buildings from the road at this point. That building right there is um, actually the back of one of the lodging buildings. From this vantage point, we are heading south on 896, otherwise known as Hartman Bridge Road. Uh, we're between Route 30 to our north and Strasburg to our south. And this little piece of paradise is right in between those two. So it's a really good location right in the middle kind of of Amish country. So this video will just do a quick overview of the property on the outset. And then we're going to get into the food um, very soon and the details of that. So it was a really great visit. I'm excited to share it with you and talk about all the fun features here. All right, so here's the sign for kind of some directional help here to the left of the sign is the carriage house and the farmhouse and these are two of the buildings that they offer for their lodging um, they have a lot of lodging they have a third building which is the main building which I'll show you later but it's a great little area I love this property because it's very rustic it has like kind of a lot of like a horse stable kind of feel even in the restaurant which I love and this is kind of one of my favorite things about this property is is the decor and between the building of the restaurant and the building of the um, hotel here is a playground and a pond and so this is a pretty large property you can kind of spread out and relax and just enjoy some peace and quiet and then we come upon the restaurant area and here is a goat yard there was no goats there though we were there that day but um, they had the capability so it's kind of fun to see when you're visiting something to note about Hershey Farm uh, right off the bat is that they're not open between January and the beginning of March so make sure you always check websites of all places you want to visit in Lancaster because this is a common thing uh, some restaurants do close down in the beginning of the winter time. Some restaurants have various hours or they close for certain days or certain meal times. So it's always important to check the websites. So just beyond the parkland here where I'm pointing is Sight and Sound Theater. And if you have ever heard of Lancaster, I'm sure you've heard of this place. This place is a very popular, hugely popular Christian based, Bible based theater. They put on amazing Broadway style shows. They're just astounding. And so it's right next to this inn and restaurant and you actually get discount tickets if you stay here to go to the theater. So that's another big bonus of being here. Plus you walk. There's a walking path and a driving path that are separate for people who are at the, at the inn. So it's a great bonus. So now we're coming upon Amos of Zinn's Diner. This was a historical site originally located in Denver, Pennsylvania, which is in the extreme northern part of Lancaster County. It was kind of like a famous landmark as people exited the turnpike and it remained at Zinn's Diner from 1969 till 2003 when the diner closed and in the same year it came to Hershey Farm. So this is the main building of the inn. This is where you would check in and check out when you're staying here. They have some rooms back behind and I got some shots of the, of the lobby here. So it's a really nice welcoming lobby. Uh, very clean, lots of nice wood grains. But there are rooms that go back up and behind and then there's a pool in the back as well and some really great views. You can see the pond, the pool, the playground and then also sight and sound from these rooms. So a little more history, this property was purchased in 1975 by the original owners, Ed and Irma Hershey, and started as a tourist attraction with a snack shack. Soon after, in 1977, a 50-seat restaurant was added. Then in 1984, the farmhouse building on the property was remodeled into guest rooms. Then after some great success and growth, in 1988, the restaurant expanded with the lobby, an additional dining room, and a gift shop, as well as the establishment of the main building of the inn. Okay, so up to this point in the video, I've done all the talking about my experience after the fact. But for the food review, I really want to show you my experience as I was there. So I know the background noise is a little bit annoying in this next part, but hopefully you'll get to enjoy the um, experience that I did as, I, as a first time guest to the restaurant. I got handballs here. Oh, sweet. <laughs>
potatoes. Ooh, they look good. <laughs> they look really good. All right. And yeah, vegetable stir fry. That's actually really healthy. Ooh, wow, that looks good. I'm not gonna have any, but it looks really good. Fried chili. Oh, that's the stuff. 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 corn. Well, I gotta get some corn. <laughs> I'm running out of room. Okay. I get another plate. So we get chicken pot pie. Sweet, sweet, sweet. That looks so good. Now this is very different than pot pie where I am living right now. This is how they do it in Pennsylvania. So my great grandma used to do it. Homemade noodles. These really look good. I'm not gonna have them because they'll fill me up. They look good. Oh, but, 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 but. Yum. Look at the stuffing. All right, this is, look at that. I'm just filling, not stuffing, filling. Had to have some, and I'm gonna get the chicken gravy because I love the chicken gravy with it. There we go. Oh my, that's exciting! Exciting. So I have two plates now, and and one camera in my other hand. So we're gonna take a pause for now until I can carry this. I can't get you doing. Oh, you're running low on batteries. No. That. Oh, vegetable beef. That looks pretty good. It smells good. Creamy potato. That looks really good too, actually. And the chili. Oh, I might try some chili. So this section of the restaurant I did not get on video, so I'm going to just show you some pictures. So here we have classic mac and cheese and stewed tomatoes. And these two things go together in this part of Pennsylvania. This is how I grew up eating them, actually. One of my favorite things to eat. Next we have another classic Pennsylvania Dutch dish. It's buttered browned noodles and this is something you'll find in most restaurants around here and they all make them differently. And next to that are Harvard beets. And then we got the fried section which is where my kids would be if they were here. <laughs> Here's a variety of some homemade bread as well as some maple butter made in house. And then we have the baked potato bar including hot bacon dressing which is another local favorite as well as the salad bar. I do want to point out a few things on the menu. Here are the prices, and so as you can see, your best bet, your best value to come here to get all the same food is a weekday lunch between Monday and Friday. And then something that I did not do, but that my husband did, was uh, utilize the grill here. So they have a grill that they claim to be the best part of the restaurant, and you can get prime rib and other delicious items. And then they also have this thing called French toast creme brulee, or actually creme brulee French toast. And I did not have it, but my parents had when they were here last. They said it was really delicious, like melt in your mouth yumminess. So another highlight, another suggestion for this restaurant. And they also have a lighter option if you want to get just less food and still enjoy the atmosphere. And then they also have their breakfast smorgasbord menu. And so if you stay here, you actually get a free breakfast smorgasbord. So that's a really big bonus to staying here, I think, because that's a lot of food and it would fill you up for pretty much most of the day. looking out to the dining room. There's little booths up here set up on the thought. And there's this little room back here. It's kind of cool. This restaurant is really cool. The restroom is back there. Um, and that can take you to the gift shop down there. That's cool. So here's like the main area here. And I think this was, um, I'm going to show you the set up real quick. That's come in that way. Here's the big sweep of the place here. Okay. Then, the 
There's more seating over here. They're closing up shop. And there was a room back there, but they closed that down. So here's another soup of this. It's a really beautiful restaurant. It's really beautiful. Okay. Okay, we are at the very end of the gift shop at Hershey Farm. This gift shop is really cool. It's different, but very stylish. They have a lot of clothes here. Um, and then they have some really neat craft and handmade items. And then I'm just going to walk you down the whole way through here. Hopefully there's some stuff here. So it's a very large gift shop area. Candies and stuff. And come get items. Put some stuff here. And then, oh, I got those shirts. And then, so is this uh, in this warmer months that's filled yeah. with stuff? That's really cool. Is it like plants and stuff, or just like? Hmm. Yeah, sometimes you get vegetables and stuff like that. Very cool. Thank you. Just very stylish stuff here. It's a beautiful clothing. They have really nice clothing here. Like really nice stuff. Okay, we'll go out here. There's that part. <laughs> Let's use other door. We just got done eating at Hershey Farm restaurant for the very first time. I really liked it. Uh, first of all, I will say it's super clean, like very clean restaurant, really good food. They had all the classic Pennsylvania Dutch items. So here are some shots of the foods that I ate that I got to sample and they were all really, really good. I had to give one award to the best thing I ate here, which I kind of like to do when I review restaurants. I would have to say the plate of filling gravy and the chicken pot pie because they were done really well. And this chicken pot pie is the thick kind, the gravy kind, not like the soupy kind that some places serve it. So I like it that way. And then the best thing I ate for dessert was definitely the cheesecake with the cherry topping. It was really delicious. Okay, so we are here to talk about a new development for the channel. This wonderful young man is my oldest son, Nathan. This is Maggie, the youngest of the entire family. We were in Pennsylvania last. We were uh, in my parents' basement. That's where we sleep. And we were having like a brainstorm session about <laughs> my channel name, L Living. And I was saying how there are reasons I chose that name and now I'm kind of regretting it and how we can make like an acronym for it. And so we were brainstorming ideas and Nathan helped me come up with a, and so did my younger son, but he doesn't want to be on here. Um, came up with a really good one. So you want to tell them what it is? I don't know what was it was <laughs> like. Enjoying Lancaster life with everyone. Yay! <laughs> so E-L-L-E, -L -E, enjoying Lancaster life with everyone. So yeah, the width is just kind of be like a small little insert but we're pretty excited about it so I want to share that with you and that is why it looks a little different on the channel and uh he's not this short actually it's just that he's sitting in a low chair so he's yeah. he was so sweet to help me so I wanted to have him on here to celebrate the new the new slogan for the channel right <laughs> why don't you tell us about your favorite things on Lancaster while you're here Nathan I'm just in it for the mac and cheese at buffets <laughs> That's true. That's all there is to it. <laughs> yes, uh, he's 20 and a junior in college, but this is still what he loves, is mac and cheese. So, yeah, well, I'm just glad he comes along. But So that's that, and um, maybe someday, if we're lucky, we can get t-shirts made, <laughs> which would make me so happy. <laughs> we'll see. But anyway, thanks for tuning in today, and hope you enjoyed the video, and enjoy your next adventure. Bye. <laughs>